get back. I want to get back real quick. Why? Because I do want to talk. I don't want to bore you with all the NFL talk. I'm sure you get that all the time. But I want to know the recruiting process. Why are you? What made you decide on RU at the time? That support group. That, uh, you know, the 75 deep. Uh, listen, I'm a New York City kid. Born and raised. Still live here in the city. Um, going to Jersey was getting out. You know, looking at Rutgers, looking at that opportunity. P- people might not know this, but I I used to go to Doug Graber's football camp. So I actually would have my mom drive me out to, you know, Rutgers at the time, Cook, Cook Campus at the, at the time, and uh, thought it was like 200 miles away. It's, it's not that far. <laughs> and uh, I fell in love with the place. I fell in love with my coaching staff. They were, you know, real guys. They would tell it like it is. They would tell you if you stink. If you had a good game, they'd tell you you had a good game. And that started at the camp. And, uh, and it's funny, back to Alcides, but Alcides was the man in that camp. And I just looked at it and said, you know, we can be a great tandem. And, uh, you know, I went on recruiting trips. I enjoyed them. They were fun. You know, the Big East schools. Uh, something about Rutgers. Yeah. It's just weird. Something about Rutgers. Something about being a guy. Listen, Anthony... You know this from firsthand. It's easy to have, well, if you have a reputation, if your brand is strong, where you live, you yeah. have pride, you have commitment to your locals, let's call it. You pack up, go somewhere else, okay, and you fail. Guess what? Everybody forgets about you. What happened to that kid? Oh, you lost, you know, he lost it. He didn't, he didn't succeed. He didn't take it to the next level. When you can do that, in your home state where people are expecting it, that shows your character. Yeah. And that's why I love Anthony. I mean, he, he showed his character from day one. And uh, I love guys that do that. And we talk about the New Jersey thing. Guys, we got to keep, yeah, we got to keep all these guys home. You know what? This is your home state. Have pride in your home. And, uh, yeah, that was the reason. I, yeah, man. I, I heard you talking about that before. Like, uh, just like, talking about guys staying in the tri-state area and continuing building their brand. Like you, you have this brand in high school. If you're, if you're a top notch football player, basketball player, even wrestler in the tri-state area, you you created this brand. Your family's probably a big Italian family, you know, and and, uh, (laughs) and they they came to all your, all your games, your matches, you know, like why not continue that trend instead? Like you talked about it before. Like if you, if you leave, I mean, the grass is never, always greener it's not always greener on the other side man. yeah you're starting a whole new life if you move far away a whole new brand you got to you got to create that that pop absolutely and think about it when you're a freshman and you're going through the process and it's hard and it's a grind and there's that moment where you're like am i can i continue to do this it's easy to quit when nobody's watching you couldn't quit right. you i couldn't quit i couldn't go home on a weekend and then face the wrath that i was going to f- face when i drove down cross bay boulevard in howard beach i wasn't you know it wasn't going to be a good situation right. so you get out there you grind and when it hurts you grind some more and when it hurts more you grind some more and uh you know you just know always know where you came from yeah. and we when you look there you know where you are. It was always a little bit more motiva- more motivation too when it came time where those home games came around. You know, you get to look up and see those seventy five family members. Totally, totally. And it's like those, yeah. like you're saying, those times that are down. You're like, well, this isn't just me on this journey, man. I, I brought a lot of people along with me. So, listen, it's also a performance. You know that. Yeah. You're performing. Yeah. You like to be on stage. Yeah. You like to be mano a mano. That's why I find your sport amazing. I mean, we have battles, interior battles on the offensive line. You know that, Scotty. Yep. Um, you, you do one-on-ones. That's great. But when it's just you and an opponent, and that it, it, and I call it an embarrassing factor, nobody wants to be outshined ever. Yeah. And that's how you take your training. That's how Scotty takes his coaching. That's how Mike takes his coaching. Yeah. That's how I played the game. Yeah. I was, I was more fearful of – Failing, embarrassing myself, and letting my coach down. Letting my coach down was probably number one. And Doug Graber knows that. Stan Parrish knows that. Um, and that's when you build trust with the coach. Yeah. You know, when your coach can trust you, uh, you're, you're accountable, you're consistent. That's when he, he told me the freshman year, when you're consistent, you'll play on the field. Yeah. Until then, it's not happening.